We've had seen protesters again, once again, in, in Parliament Square, setting up some sort of Glastonbury on Thames. Do you agree with the, the recommendations, I think it was by the, the, the policy, policy exchange, that there should be zero tolerance to these sort of events? You might want to believe that the law says that no disruption is allowed whatsoever through protest, but that is not the case. I think you might want to believe, Commissioner, that, you, you know, that you're doing your job correctly. And we, I don't think you are. Give me examples of sexism, racism and misogynistic behaviour that you've actually witnessed whilst being a police officer? I can't remember any immediately. You can't I remember any? No, I can't. Well, I, I find that very difficult to believe. I think everybody watching this would find that difficult to believe, that you're in charge of cleaning up the, the Met Force, really, it's your, it's your responsibility, but you can't actually remember any. I've only worked in the Met for six years as a very senior officer. Mm. It doesn't come across your desk in that way. Have you seen it in, in the time you've been in the police? I'm not, I'm not going to try and test my memory to go back to the 1980s. Right, OK. I think that sort of answers my question. I think yeah, it would appear that you're in denial. That, um, that not in denial at all. It. I've been more forthright about the need to reform and the need to confront standards in policing right. than any commissioner for decades. I would imagine that anybody else in any, any other industry has witnessed this type of behaviour and would admit to it and say, yes, it does, it does exist, it has happened, I have witnessed it. I think you're probably the only person I've ever met that would say they can't remember. You say you took five years out of yeah. the force. There's probably people listening to this today wish it was a lot longer, and I'm one of them. Um, do you think you've got the confidence of the public? I'm not going to sit here. When, if people want to be personally offensive, then write it in newspapers, but I'm not going to answer those questions.